okay guys well we went and got us some lumber um 16 foot beam which is hopefully enough to span across there and then forward that's going to make the outline for our smaller hatch a couple of sheets of plywood same thing as in the back piece of five eighths piece of three quarter inch um we're looking at laying down about 16 inches here and probably a little bit less on the side so that should be enough to do that job and also maybe fill in the rest of our new bulkhead down here on the two sides there's a little gap there so we're just getting set up to start cutting this thing down uh, we got a mark here the the deck's got a crown in it this also has a crown in it so what we did is that we just uh, measured down off the side 14 inches took a straight line stretched it across marked it and then used our level here to um, strike a, a line there so it should be nice and straight gonna use a skill saw to cut this but kind of need something to rest it on for a ledge don't have anything that's straight and the right length so we're just gonna go ahead and use our level here Matt's gonna punch a couple of holes in it and we're just gonna screw it down and then we can rest the skill saw on there Pretty simple fix. That'll give us a, a nice straight edge to go off of. Run home and grab a board, but don't feel like running home and grabbing a board. Yeah. I don't really know what we have there that's these straight anyways. Nothing really. But how about that ladder? It's probably 10. I didn't even think up. about that ladder. Yeah, it wouldn't be... Uh, It'd be the same thing. This is fine. Yeah, because we can screw this to the yeah. thing. and Yeah, so he's just going to put a couple of holes there, and then we'll just screw it into the side. Still an easy little modification. So we're going to end up with about an eight inch uh, rise on this hatch combing which will which will be pretty good for now be nice to flush deck it but it's just way too complicated um, little raised hatch is, is fine it's nice we'll have ample room along the sides after we make this skinnier inch and a half and we got a couple of lines here to try and confuse us so see if we can get the right one huh we started just by measuring down the top and we knew when we went to extend this line out that something was funny with it so that's why we just use a string line Good, good. Good. Better. Now it's low though. That's gonna gear up. I suppose I'll put my suit on as well. Might as well. Yeah, it's gonna get rather messy here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, and we'll have to do the same thing inside. We'll measure down. We'll strike a line across there. That's gonna be a little more challenging down there.
should be pretty close. Yeah. All right, that went about as good as can be expected. Just a hair high on the side, about an eighth inch. Not bad at all. So we'll keep on keeping on. Three more to go. Alrighty guys, we got uh, as much work as we can with the skill saw done, so now is the time for the sawzall. Just gotta get the corners right here and these that little bit right there. So it's not really gonna be too much, really, but Yeah, not get, much uh, at all. That skill saw went to the majority of it, two thirds, so yep. We'll get a get a pry bar to jam into that crack so you don't pinch your blade, I guess. But good idea. Um, yeah, I guess we're ready to get this thing off. See what we got. Yeah, quite excited. Yeah. I 
can go in there. Yep. Does it seem okay? That sawzall is a beast. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. It doesn't actually look like it's going to be terribly heavy. At least not like that uh, cover. So yeah, probably just uh, pick up on it and just give a little slide up. I think so. Yeah. Get this edge over and then we can just winch it up a bit and take a look. 
under the underneath or whatever. Decide what we want to do with it. Yeah. I was going to say we could flip it up this way, but <laughs> think about it, Dad. Same problem, huh? It's too tall. That's phase one of demolition. <laughs> yeah. Guess. Now for the next part is, I don't know, maybe just come in here and we know that we're going to reduce it. So I wonder if we should just come in here and like 
cut between a couple of these and tear this off so we can see what uh, how they joined it down there. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Cut it. I suppose so. This is gonna like it's seven foot now. We're gonna bring it down to about five on the inside. have to do the mass so we don't like over cut but we should be okay if we just like I'm thinking if we cut it on like this side like that right mm -hmm. so then we can see how this 2 by 4 is tied in cut it down cut it on the deck here and then do the same down here and then bust that piece off and then we can take a look in there and see what's up yeah yeah that's a good plan Okay, and then we'll know whether we need to uh, like just rip on the outside of this with the uh, skill saw like we did back there or if we need to just cut the seam and figure out how to, we're going to cave this in but without hopefully damaging what we have too much. Yeah, I kind of want to cut through. going to be how do we get this overlap again. We might have to strip this on the inside. Or, or, no, that's, that's what I mean. or cut it here. Yeah, we cut it there and we could just strip that off and should just be able to cut the outside. Uh -huh. and hopefully wedge in. And pry and it up. Get those, I know it's going to be nails most likely. I bet it's nails. So. Yep. Should be able to just do that. And Might take get, a little bit of prying, but we'll get it, huh? Yeah. Get underneath it and start working mm -hmm. one way, then the other. And then, like, we're coming right here. We just put another beam, right? And connect them somehow. Yeah. Leave I think, that one entirely. I think the same thing we did back there, really. Yeah. We put in a, a main beam, and then we should really just be able to come in here with the couple of short pieces of two by four. Yeah. Yeah, for the in-betweens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just toenail them in or whatever. Yeah. Or notch them. Because here we can run long legs into them from that side. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And the other side. True. All right. Well, that's not... If it's that way, hopefully it is. It's not too frightening. It's like... Like I said, these corners are probably just butted, most yeah. likely. Yeah, so that's definitely the deck, huh? Mm -hmm. And I bet you're 100% right, I bet it is just nailed. I wonder if a guy can just come in here with the sawzall and cut it, or if it's easier to, probably easier just to use a skill saw again. Probably. Well. I wish a guy could just break loose this whole thing, but I don't think it's gonna be possible. You know? 
Well, what was even holding that? I mean, like, there's no nails here, but yeah. let me trim down here with the sawzall, and we'll bust out this last chunk and see. But there's a nail right there. It looks like. Yeah, that's a nail. So those nails are gonna give us, make it impossible to get underneath and can't really pry it out this way. And you can't really, uh, you can't really lift it up because those won't let it shear yep. easily. No worries. So basically, if you just took your saw and, uh, yeah, you'd have to match that exactly, which would be pretty difficult, probably. Might be. Well, yeah, what about... Cut down to the bottom of that and let's see. Okay, what about this? Uh, what about if we just cut the outside, like you said, and I wonder if we could just pry these away enough on these, mm -hmm. reach in there with the with the sawzall to cut a nail, and then we can leave that carcass, and then we might be able to save it that way. Because then at least we would have you know pieces, mm -hmm. and we could cut it down and, and try and save it that way. Then we could reattach it. Right. I mean, it's not very much laminate, but it'd still be nice to save it and just go over it. Maybe it's not worth it. Maybe it's just easier to reskin the inside and not worry about it. Save the outside and just reskin the inside. That might just be easier. I mean, it's layered over and layered mats. So. Half dozen to the other, right? Yeah, I mean, that's really not actually that much material. Yeah. And then we're going to put a new cap on the top, anyways, so you could come over here with a couple of layers, and then when you come back from the other way with a couple of layers, it'll build your top up nice and good, mm -hmm. and it reinforces the outside. Yep. Yeah, that seems like a good plan. All right, guys. Well, and as you can see, we've uh, cut a hole out of our combing here. We're just kind of uh, get an idea of what we're actually looking at here. Um, needed to be able to see what kind of framing was in here to proceed with the rest of it. So we know how to kind of take it apart. Um, we, yeah, thickness of the ceiling and all that good stuff. Yeah, we did uh, determine what kind of construction is going on here. So uh, that's good. We got an idea to how to start cutting out the rest of it. But along the way, we had to remove this to just kind of see what it looked like. And as you can see, came upon our first rot. <laughs> so I guess it's not unexpected, but it is a little bit unexpected that it took this long to find some, in my opinion. I mean, I expected to find some in the back where the pit was. That's true. So yeah, I guess. Uh, guess it might be a little bit more in depth here but really not hopefully too much all right guys well knock that part out of there after some struggle but we actually forgot there was a leg bolt in there so that enhanced the struggle yeah i missed it i totally saw it out here too i'm like oh yeah there's a bolt there it needs to be cut, but I forgot about it. Yeah, I think I also forgot about that because I saw a bolt somewhere, but that might have been the one I was thinking of. Yeah. But anyway, so we got that chunk here. Looks like it was a six by four, four by five, I four guess. Four by five and a half. So yeah, it's four by six, right? Yeah, I guess it'd be a four by six. So that's what this whole deck is made up of, basically. Yeah, um, the tabbing on this uh, is very resin rich and I don't know if they just like tabbed up and poured resin in there, but yeah, cracks out that easy. Not much structure there, but sorry. Yeah, I thought we were recording where, when we just 
like smash this off here, but I guess not. But it was a bit of a struggle. Probably because of that bolt. Yeah, <laughs> that bolt was the last hold on, I think. I, could probably I, cut I think it that, that probably had a lot to do with it. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Um, yeah, uh, I guess we'll what, come over here next. Yeah. Keep on going, I guess. So somewhere in here, we're gonna come in and notch this out for a new beam to come across. Anywhere, really. We have to be a little bit careful. We got a 16 foot beam and we're hoping to eke all three pieces out of it. I don't know if we can. Yeah. We might have to go pick up uh, one more. Yeah, eight footer. But as everybody knows, lumber's kind of spendy. 16 footer was 55 bucks. And the eight footer is 28 bucks, 29. Hmm. Yep. So, uh, I guess I'll just keep cutting around the perimeter here, I guess. And okay. I'll mark out this other out side. To, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to save this or not. Looks like these, these are actually like pretty hammered right there. Some rot in those two, two by fours. All right, guys. So reevaluated our uh, our plans here. I'm gonna just uh, destructively remove this, <laughs> most likely. Yeah. Um, we've already kind of started. So we figured because there was some rot in these two by fours right here, anyways, that it was gonna probably be too hard to try and rip those two by fours out, replace them. Yeah. We just started thinking, well, we've got good pieces here.
Yeah, so I think we're just gonna reuse these. We'll just trim the inside of these about an inch and a half, uh, cut the two by four, put a new sill plate, if you will, in there. And then we'll fill this back in with the overlap with the beam underneath, because we're gonna have a beam coming down anyways. So I think that's gonna work out pretty good. We can just recycle these anyways. Probably makes a lot more sense. These actually have a better cap on them anyways the two by four with the piece of plywood underneath it. So pretty robust. We can clean these up good and we'll put some more glass over the top of them, make them three or four times stronger than they already are. But yeah, looking at this, it's just kind of, it doesn't make a lot of sense to try and save it because I'm afraid that we just have some damage anyways. And it's gonna be a waste of time. So we just cut the seam where it's tabbed into the deck, uh, cut on the back side, and now I guess we'll get some sledgehammers and beat on it a little bit. Yep. See if we can't bust it loose. Right. Might have to do a little more cutting, a little more grinding. We'll get it. Yeah, like the major holder now is the nails, so as long as we can get those yeah. flat out. If the deck's rotten, then it's just gonna come right up and we'll know it, so. Yep.
here. That's not plywood, is it? No, All right, well, I don't know. would have been hard to reclaim the stuff honestly yeah we would have had to tear that out start to tell what kind of damage a guy would do to it in the meantime yeah i mean you see what our the frying did it's a good one here but one inch away oh yeah sure did huh yep. uh, so now i'm thinking those little stubs probably ain't much of anything huh that this is our regular deck beans which makes it good for us, makes it easy for us. These stubs? Yeah. Uh, these, these ones here. I'm not even quite understanding what those are for. Oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter much. They can stay, huh? Yeah, they can stay because they make a... Well, they're already integrated to the ceiling, so... Yeah. Make a good ceiling. Need too much to try and cut out. Yep. Huh. Is it getting late or does it just feel late? It's only 5.30. Oh, got a few more hours yet. Yeah. Well, maybe try and get this coming up, huh? Yeah. Since we know what we're doing. Right. Yeah, that came up easy enough. This tells me we're on the right track. Ain't no use trying to save it. Yep. They put resin on that, didn't they? They did. So there's a little damage over here. Looks like it started in this corner, maybe. Right. Well, this is already making me feel better. Yeah. I bet that this damage isn't all that bad over there. So what if it is? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. It's like it's so we'll just, over here. we'll just strip this out up here and, and pull the nails or cut them or whatever we need to do. Cut the heads off and pull it out. And just do, do our overlap like we talked about. And then tomorrow we start cleaning it up, framing it, and reducing it.
All right, guys. Well, huh. demolition. <laughs> Nearly done. Yes. A little, little trimming, a little cleanup. Starting to suspect that a couple of these corners had cracks in them, and suspecting that's where this rot started. It's not bad. This is also plywood right here. A little bit dry rotted on this top layer. We'll just run the skill saw, trim these back. It's two layers of ply there anyways, and when we butt up the new one, the bottom layer, we're gonna wanna overlap the top one. Tie them in better, give it some strength, so it's not gonna hurt us any to cut that stuff out. And we'll just rip it right along there, right about where the uh, fiberglass laminate starts, and it's, it's no big deal. Yeah. There's a little bit beyond that. Yep. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Like we say, if you delve into it too far, it's just the can of worms. Yeah. We're not looking to replace the whole deck, but. Absolutely, so, I mean, like, you can see the difference in this corner. You know, it's definitely bad right there. Over here, not really gonna find a rot tore up the plywood ripping off the other sheet more than anything maybe just a little bit in this corner a little yep. bit of dry rot there not as bad and then back to this corner same thing you know definitely some sign right where that post was yeah it's hard to tell them what's so, going on there but so yeah we're almost there one more corner and we'll get all this area cleaned up let this wood breathe for a few days get a little less moisture out of it yeah We'll remove this top layer a half inch, go back to where we want to tie it in, get that off of there, get that moist, wet stuff out of there, and, um, and let everything breathe. I don't know, we'll probably start framing it up at the very least, and then we'll just kind of see, see how it looks in a few days. Yep. Not in a super big hurry to get this back. It's yep. supposed to rain, but we'll button up our shelter as best we can and try and keep it dry in here. Yeah. Shouldn't be too bad, anyway. But yeah, uh, great progress. It's pretty happy with, started the with day, today. Started the day with a uh, full combing, and now we're almost down to deck. Oh, it's true. Well, I'm glad that we took the time on those not to destroy them. Yeah. In retrospect. Yeah, it was, I really uh, thought that we would be reclaiming these lower ones, but uh, it looks like it's quite the opposite. So yeah. it won't take very much to clean those up and get them in shape, get the gel coat knocked off, and we'll go ahead and put down a thick layer of laminate on what's there. It looks like it's bonded well. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Good day. Mm -hmm. You guys can see quite a bit of carnage. <laughs> yeah. We'll have a little cleanup party here. Bunch of chunks out home. on deck. I think get this last piece out. Got four pieces over there. All we got to do is cut a foot or so out of each side and reduce them and sleeve them back together. Shouldn't be too hard. No. So these are actually about the right length. So in reality, we should be able just to trim the outside down and get the crown where we need it. Trim that, trim the two by four, and then put in the new kind of sill plate in there. Yeah. And then this can hang long down in and tie into the new beam. And then we'll just maybe have to put a little strip in there at the bottom. I don't know. It's a little hard to envision right now. Yeah. Well, Plans are always subject to change and a lot of evolution has gone into this, but that's what that's what makes you successful. Yep. Is it not being stuck to one thing and, and living with it? You gotta be able to change stuff on the fly and we certainly have on this project so far. Yeah, the adaptability is pretty important in life. Yeah. So, so I think that uh, we're on the right track here. Everything looks pretty good. All right, so we'll get this last chunk torn out and uh, then have a little cleanup party.
Uh, it's time to call it quits. <laughs> good day. Yeah, got it all knocked out. Darn so. good day. Yep, so just remove the whole thing. It's the only, the only thing that made sense. We'll go in here and we'll cut off this top layer of bad stuff. And the layer under it looks okay. We'll leave it. This little margin will probably leave it. Yeah, it's a lot easier to build off of an obvious foundation than a yeah. weird chunk together one like we would have had to. So yeah, just went ahead and removed that front piece like we said. And like Dad said, got those to work with. So mm -hmm. we get our final hole figured kind of, out. I'm excited to, to see with. how they're gonna look. I wish that we could kind of like slide one over here into place, but they're just a little too short to yeah. balance there. I think. Yeah. They but we'll start getting them carved up tomorrow, skinnied up, get our footprint figured out. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess we'll bring you guys back tomorrow once we start putting together the framing. We have a little bit of a demo left, just got to bring down these uh, this rotten plywood. So we'll yeah. get it all figured out, cleaned up. It doesn't look too bad. Hey, take it easy now. Whip. That's our that's Stop our deck. Poking. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you like it, please subscribe, comment, hit the like button, bell notification so you don't miss the next video, and see you again next time. Yep, yeah, see you guys.